when I came in the, the summer, the, right before the fall of, I guess, 2008, 2009, when I started, um, you know, it's, it's like walking into kind of like a nice blank slate where while the infrastructure was here and the equipment's here and things like that, that um, it, there was really a nice opportunity to sort of mold and kind of shape and create a program um, that really played to not only to my strengths, but played to like what could we get the best out of. I really want to make print more of an interactive thing. Um, not that it, it doesn't interact visually, but I also wanted to interact spatially with the viewer. After we kind of made that initial sort of transition, I was able then to sort of formulate sort of, you know, our four key components, figure out what do we really want to focus on. Um, so making the decision to focus on relief, to focus on etching with ferric chloride with copper, um, to focus on photopolymer, and then to focus on screen printing, and really be able to kind of make those are the institutions within the printmaking curriculum. So from there, really it's just about every year, it was about trying to get more and more students to come take classes. You know, initially our advanced classes were like one or two kids. I mean, they're still small, but I think the quality and the investment in the student who's taking those classes is just gotten a lot larger. Um, so this year is really the, the payoff year. So if we started four years ago, these are students that are graduating today who started with me at that same time, came in as freshmen and are now leaving as seniors. Um, so the four students that you know, are graduating this year sort of represent sort of um, the benefit of that reinvestment into the studio and into the program and curriculum. So I think you'll see when it comes to thesis, you'll see not only a wide range of ideas and concepts, but a wide range of working methods that are then sort of associated with those techniques in general, which I think is you know, what it was all about. I mean, that's the goal coming in here is being able to put something together and then sort of start to see the benefit of it. You know, it did take three or four years, but now it's at a point where you know, there's people now in line, in queue, waiting right behind to kind of continue on. I don't think I realized that no one had, that no one had taken this before. Or not, not, not that, they ha that they hadn't taken it, but that there wasn't really like a strong program. So we faked it? What's that? So we were able to fake it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know, for me, I think it's always, it was always important to see what people were doing before me. So now, knowing that students as freshmen are going to be able to see, you know, four strong printmaking shows, a thesis, and start thinking about, oh, this might, is, this might now be something that I'm interested in doing, whether before they may have never have even been to this room or even been to this building or don't know what's going on here. It's a great way, um, without sitting down and trying to tell them what it is, they get to go see what that is and see what the possibilities are. As I continue to invest into it and as the students start to invest into it, I think you start to see it kind of spring a little bit and that it's becoming something that's on people's radar. And, you know, I feel like we're just working back towards those periods where, you know, the studio was, you know, a hotbed, you know, in the you know, late 70s, early 80s, you know, printmaking was such a huge part of the school that it's kind of great to see it kind of coming back a little bit.